Hey, what's going on? This is Jay from JHP Video Tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over Adobe Bridge. And we're going to explain what it's about and how it works. And uh, Adobe Bridge is really cool. It's, it's very powerful. And it, basically, what Adobe Bridge is, it's, it's an it's a organizer. It's a, a, a manager. You can review your photos in there. Like I said, you can uh, you can rate them. The metadata you can examine more closely to find out what what your camera was set to if you didn't know things like that. What lens you were using, and um, you can also somewhat develop your photos in Camera Raw. I shouldn't say somewhat. You can develop them in Camera Raw, right from Bridge, which is great. And you could also do basic edits in Camera Raw, like uh, you know some skin correction. You can remove pimples and things like that. Uh, adjust brightness. Also, you, the new bridge in Adobe Photoshop CS5, you have the ability to do some exporting and stuff. And I think the old one, you could do file processing and an image processor, and, and you can export. But the new interface is, is much better. I, I really like it. And uh, bridge also goes hand in hand with Photoshop. So you'll be going back and forth between bridge and Photoshop. You, you could you use bridge to find your photos, import, organize, and and then you would, if you want to edit them further, you would simply go into Photoshop where you can do some more advanced image editing. Also, Photoshop offers masking abilities, has very powerful filters, gives you the option to do uh, layering and things like that. Also, uh, the printing abilities are pretty extensive, and most plugins for your printers and things are made to work with Photoshop. So these two programs really do work hand-to-hand, -hand, and you might say, well, why would I want to buy Adobe Lightroom um, if Bridge pretty much does everything Lightroom does? And the answer is, it, it Bridge does do pretty much everything Lightroom does, but not as good, and it's not as quick, not as a, not as quite as efficient. Lightroom is a database program; Bridge is not. But when you're when you're in Bridge, you're actually looking at your your actual files. When you're in Lightroom, you actually are working on a database, which is a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Bridge does not use a database, and Lightroom does. That's one major difference between the two programs. So in any event. What we're going to do next is we're going to show you what the bridge interface looks like and uh, take some of that intimidation away because it might look a little overwhelming to you at first, but it's really not that bad. So hang on one second and I'll switch to that window. Okay, so now we're over in bridge and basically when you launch bridge, this is what you're going to see for the first time. Not necessarily these pictures, of course, but this uh, this layout. And it's, it's very, very easy to understand, really. Basically, it's made up of just different panels. Um, you have a content panel, a favorites panel over here, and each panel has tabs in it. So this, this particular panel has two tabs, favorites and folders. And then if you look down here on this panel, you got filter, collections, and export options. Pretty cool. And over here to the right-hand side, you have a couple other panels. You have the preview panel, and which basically just gives you a little bit bigger of an image than the thumbnail. Then down here you got metadata and keywords and stuff. And uh, notice here though, in between the panels, if you hover, how that line pops up. See that? So you can actually click and drag to change the size of your panels. It's pretty cool. So I could drag this down. You can do all sorts of stuff. You can actually click and drag. I can drag the preview into this panel like that and then bring the content over to this panel. I mean it's pretty much unlimited what you what you can do with these panels and stuff. So you can design it however you want and it'll actually remember you know your settings when you open up Bridge the next time. It's really cool. So but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna reset my workspace and I want to show you how to do that anyway. So just go to Window Workspace and if you ever screw up your workspace all you have to do is go back here and go to Reset Standard Workspaces and I'm gonna do that right now. Alright so then that reset everything. I'm just going to go back to full screen. There we go. So now I'm back to the default. So let me just continue now going around this window here. So here's the, we, we left off on the metadata and the preview panel. Now if I go down here to the bottom, there's a little slider here. Check this out. That'll change the size of the thumbnail in your content window. And that's really cool. So you can have it, you know, all the way big where it takes up the whole screen or, you know, see a lot of thumbnails at once, which is what I usually like. And then if you look up over here, above your favorites tab, you have a little breadcrumb trail. So it's telling you exactly where you're located. And I really like this because a lot of times if you have multiple hard drives or network drives, things like that, 
uh, you might have duplicates of the same folder and you might not know if you're in you know the backup version or the regular version and this breadcrumb trail will help you keep track of that it's a nice little thing to reference so I'm just referencing my desktop and I have a folder on my desktop called Garen and that's where this you know the tutorial files are for this particular um, tutorial alright so one other thing I wanted to show you about these panels is how you can just double click them and that'll collapse them so if you want to see more information on keywords or, or things like that, you know, you can, you can collapse these panels and um, double clicking will just open it right back up. It's pretty cool. So I use that feature a lot as well. All right, so basically how Bridge works is um, if you just go to the folders tab, you can just navigate to wherever you have your pictures. And once you click on that location, the content will open up in the content window. It's really cool. And if you want to say you like a photo and you want to, you know, give it a rating or something, like as you can see, a lot of these photos have stars and stuff. In the content window, you can simply just click on, this, on these little star buttons, and that'll create a star rating for that particular image. Notice, though, over here in the preview window, if you try to click that and add a star rating, it doesn't work. And uh, because it's a preview, it's not the actual content. But that might mess you up. I know it's messed me up in the past because I always end up trying to click over here. But, um, you know, just click, just click on the actual content window when you're, when you're doing the uh, stars and stuff like that, just remember. And one of the coolest things about Bridge is over here in this filter, you have these stars. And if you click on the stars, it'll show just, you know, just that item. Uh, as you can see, there's 21 with two stars, so it's going to show 21 images. And if I click on five stars, it'll just add to that. So now I'm looking at the five stars and the two stars. It's really cool. And, uh, and you can do the same thing with file type and keywords and stuff which is really really nice stuff here's camera raw but because notice how I, I have five stars checked still there's no items that can be displayed so then you can just turn off the five star and now I'm just getting the raw files pretty cool and this is a very good way to help find uh, Photoshop documents is what I use it for a lot you know if I'm coming back in here I want to try to find a, a file really quick and it might not be in my Lightroom database I usually use Lightroom and so I'll use Bridge, you know, I'll come in and I'll start going through some of my old hard drives and stuff. And I go right to this filter here, boom, and, and I can find files so much faster. It's a really nice feature. And the keyword feature is pretty nice too if you have metadata on your images and stuff. And now they have all, these, all this stuff here is so cool. I mean, the aperture value you can look at, you can go by lens, really, really powerful. And, uh, you know, take advantage of these features because if you have, you know, if you're doing a wedding and you're shooting with two cameras, you can, you can easily now figure out which camera serial number is which, and you can separate the photos so sim so easily. Say if one was shot with a 40D, one with a 5D, for example. Take, care of, uh, take advantage of those filters because they really do help speed up your workflow. All right, so one other thing I wanted to show you real quick here is check this out. If you go up here to Window and you look at all these check marks, these are all the panels that are currently being viewed. So if there's panels that you don't need, you can clean this up a little bit. For example, over here we got filter collections export. I really don't need collections because I don't use them. So I'm just going to uncheck that and, and notice how I just cleaned up that panel a little bit. Now I could actually drag the keywords panel over there if I wanted to and come, you know, just like this, boom, drag, drop. So now keywords are over there. Now all I have over here is metadata, which is kind of nice. So I have my filter, export, and keywords over here. So it's, it's really a, just a cool program. And, uh, you know, the interface is very user-friendly, so don't be afraid to, you know, work your way around and click buttons because you can always undo things. And then keep in mind also that under the file menu, you pretty much have access to all the tools as well. You know, if you need to import photos from your camera, for example, you would do that here, get photos from camera. Um, and Or you could just click this little camera as the shortcut for that. And then if you want an open an, if you want to open an image, you can simply just double-click on it like so and it'll launch right into Photoshop if it's a raw image it's gonna open up in camera raw and if it's a Photoshop file it'll just open up right in Photoshop that's pretty much it as far as the user interface goes and what we're gonna do now is go over how to review your photos a little better using bridge uh, how do you weed through them quickly and there's a couple different ways to do that so we'll pick that up in the next one stay tuned